Welcome back to Hebrews. Here we are in Hebrews 2, 17. Hothen ophelen katapanta tois adalfois hamoyothenai. Hina eleemon genetai kai pistos archiereus da proston theon. Esto hilaskestai tas hamartias tu lau. We begin with this inference for which reason, Hothen, he was obligated. This is our imperfect from Othelo, I owe, I have to do something. Here in the sense when one ought to do something or be obligated, you expect a complementary infinitive, which is indeed what we get here with homoiothenai. This is our aorist passive infinitive. Note that thenai ending from ha mo yo o an omicron contract, meaning I liken here in the aorist passive infinitive to be made like. So he had to be made like, and then in Greek you liken to something or like something in the dative. So he had to be made like the brothers, that is his brothers, katapanta, in every way, entirely. Then we get a purpose clause introduced by hina, expecting a subjunctive, which we have here in genetai, the aorist middle subjunctive of genemai, so that he should become a merciful and faithful high priest. Here, merciful is fronted before the verb, possibly giving some level of emphasis in context that makes sense. So a merciful and faithful high priest, ta prostontheon. Here, the prepositional phrase, prostontheon, towards God, near God, uh, is made concrete with this ta, the things towards God, the things related to God. And this accusative is being used in a sense of, of reference, a merciful and faithful high priest as far as the things towards God are concerned, that is, in the service of God. This is then followed up by another purpose clause, here ace plus the accusative articular infinitive, ace to he laskes thy. This here is our present middle uh, infinitive, present middle infinitive, s thy. Uh, from he laskamai, I make propitious, I make someone well disposed, uh, so, so that he might propitiate for the sins, tas hamartias, of the people, Tulau, so that he might propitiate for the sins of the people.